What's up everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matsuro and we are here with a brand new video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your Holden vehicle inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that, then all you gotta do is download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now the method that we are doing is we are doing the add-on method. So this will be the add-on method. So make sure you guys do download this mod and we can get started. Once you have completed that, then all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now as you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements, so I don't need to install the requirements. Now you must have mods folder. If you do not have mods folder, I do have a tutorial on how to create a mods folder, and that will be in some of my description below. Open up your mods folder, Go to your update folder, go to time64, go to your DRC packs folder. Now once you come inside here, open up your Holden extract folder. And inside that folder, all you gotta do next is open up the Holden folder. Now we are doing the add-on method. So open up the add-on folder. And then now you will see a CV8 folder. Just click on that folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Open up your installation.txt file and now inside that file, all you gotta do is just copy this line over here and then copy, the, copy that line and just only minimize it, okay? Because you'll need to go back inside there. And now exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your main Grand Theft Auto V game folder and then right click and refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder and then open up your open iv go to grand theft audio v windows and now this process will take a few seconds once it's open go to edit mode select yes then go to your mods folder go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data Scroll right down the bottom until you see DRCList.xml. Right click, go to edit mode, and then scroll right down the bottom, then just click on the side where it says item, and press enter once, and then paste your code right there. Save your code, go back to your DRCList.xml, and just double check to see if the code is there. Yes. And now we have finished with that. Now the next step you gotta do, okay, is copy this line over here make sure you do copy this line it's really really important just copy the line and then all you got to do is exit out of your text file now all you got to do next is come over here okay and uh, it's just where the DLC list is just come over here guys then right click then edit scroll right down the bottom okay this method is like the DRC list, but it's a bit different. Just click on the item over here, press enter once, and then paste your code right there. And that's all you gotta do, then save your code. Now we have fully completed that. Go to edit mode, then go to your GTA V, exit out of your open IV. Now you must have Simple Trainer. If you do not have Simple Trainer, then download and install Simple Trainer inside my description below. So once you have guys have completed that, then I'll see you in the game. And we are back as Franklin. So as you guys can see, we are in our apartment and we are in our game. And now we are going to spawn the vehicle. So to spawn the vehicle, all you gotta do is press your F3 and then you'll open up your Simple Trainer menu. Go down to 
vehicle spawning then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu and then you'll see your vehicle right there guys CV8 click on that and then now uh, your vehicle will spawn now you can modify this vehicle okay but I'm not going to modify but to modify this vehicle you can use your simple trainer or menu so what I'm gonna do guys is that I'm gonna modify this car but I'm going to skip this place okay and then I will see you guys inside the other scene And welcome back guys, so I hope you do enjoy that mod. Just to let you guys know that if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know inside my comments. And don't forget to always install the requirements. And this mod only is good to install inside the latest game version too. So with that all said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.